located between the border of Spain and France is the Pyrenees mountain range. The people that occupy this isolated region are known as the Basque, and they have long confounded anthropologists and historians. The language spoken by the enclave is not related to any other in that part of the world. And the population also has the highest concentration of Rh negative blood type in the world. Up to 35% of Basque people have Rh negative blood. And Rh negative blood is one of the most unusual blood types. And it's the one blood type that is least likely to mutate or interact with other blood types. Human blood types are grouped into four distinct designations that include O, A, B, and AB. Additionally, there is another variance between blood types known as the Rh factor, or rhesus factor, which is a measure of rhesus-based antigens in the blood. The name comes from a monkey from India and other parts of Asia, which is the rhesus macaque. And this monkey was used in experiments looking at blood transfusions. How blood was received from recipients varied. And it was discovered that the rhesus factor could be positive or negative. Most humans in the world are rhesus positive. Eighty-five percent of humans in the world are Rh positive and have no issues receiving blood from positive or negative donors. But for the Rh negative population, receiving Rh positive blood may be fatal, as the body will try to destroy the foreign antigens. And for women that are Rh negative, mating with an Rh positive partner could be detrimental to the fetus. If a rhesus positive and a rhesus negative uh, parents were to have an offspring, there is a potential danger to the offspring because these two blood types can't interbreed, basically. Medical intervention is needed. It's why, actually, in the past, people had to have a blood test before they were allowed to get married. The very fact that an Rh negative mother, her body would actually try to kill an Rh positive baby generates bizarre scenarios. How on earth could this happen? It suggests somewhere in our lineage that the Rh negatives and the Rh positives are perceived as being profoundly different. And also, studies of Rh negatives suggest that they have lower than normal blood pressure, lower than normal pulse. In a number of cases, they have an extra vertebra in their back. Rh negative is very rare. Most of the world didn't have it until colonization started in the 15th century. Rh negative didn't exist in the Americas, that it didn't exist in, in Southern Africa, it didn't exist in Asia. It was only in Europe, so it spread out from there. Out of Africa, that theory has it that all human beings originated in Africa, Southern Africa, Sub-Sahara, they're all Rh positive. They don't have any Rh negative. Where did Rh negative evolve then? 15% of the humans have Rh negative blood. 15%. And scientists have no idea where it came from. What they do believe is that if you have that, you may have been evolved from a different kind of species on this planet. Now, was that species put here, genetically altered, or was it just a natural formation of the planet in its evolutionary stage? Who knows, but the fact is that RH negative people, and again, there's 15% of them on this planet, may have come from outside sources. Could the RH negative blood type offer evidence of a vastly different pre-human evolution than what we are led to believe in our history books? Might it offer indisputable proof of extraterrestrial intervention in the remote past? But if so, is the experimentation with intelligent hominin over? Or is it still taking place?